Hello everybody. Today is Sunday. It's been a wonderful Sunday. I've just been sitting here plying the yarn uh, that I spun yesterday. Uh, this is the Peacock's Peacock Feathers uh, Bat Set from Fellview Fibers. And I think when I'm done with it, I'm going to make kind of a trendy scarf out of it. So the type of plying that I'm doing today is called Navajo plying. I don't know if the Navajos really use this type of plying method. So some call it chain plying. So when you get started, you uh, create a slip knot with your yarn and then You reach through the loop on your slip knot and you grab the yarn up with your right hand. See it? See the way I'm doing that? And then you use your left hand to smooth the yarn to pinch it off before you return it to the orifice. So when I spun my singles yesterday, I spun them going in a, with the wheel going in a clockwise direction. So today I'm plying this yarn uh, with the wheel going in the counterclockwise position. You always ply in the opposite direction that you spin your singles. The uh, spinning wheel I'm using is the Babe Production Spinning Wheel from Babe's Fiber Garden. It is available for purchase on their website. There is a Lazy Kate included uh, in this wheel. Uh, maybe out of uh, the side of the camera, but uh, the Lazy Kate is uh, at the bottom. So what I will do is I will finish spinning um, I will finish uh, applying this yarn. I will use a knitty knotty to remove the yarn from the bobbin. And then uh, to create a skein. And then I'll take that skein and tomorrow I will um, wash it and hang it to dry. So when you first start to learn to Navajo ply, don't make your loop really big. Um, if you get really good at it and you can manage a large loop, that'll be fine. But uh, I can't manage a large loop, so I just make my loop small. And this will be a three ply yarn because when you Navajo ply, you end up with a three ply yarn. I thought this yarn was going to be um, worsted weight, but it has ended up being a um, Aaron to bulky weight yarn. And the reason that I chose to Navajo ply rather than do a standard two ply 
is because I didn't want the barber pole effect on this yarn. I wanted it to be a solid color gradient yarn. With only barely a little bit of barber pulling in between colors maybe. But that will really blend because this gradient um, does a gradual color change. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed seeing me um, Navajo ply this yarn for a little while. If you like what you've seen, click the like button. If you want to see more, click subscribe. And until next time, bye bye.